Hello, everybody, and welcome back to some modded. Gungeon. I'm here. Are... Hi, hi. I'm here. Hi. Hello. As I was going to say, we are here with Never Named, which hi. has been a, it's been quite a long time since we've had Never Named on the channel on uh, a yeah. bit of Gungeon, but we're here, and it's mainly because um, he strong armed me into making him on my videos so that he could show off his new content in his update. Yeah, no, not really. But, hi. Um, Hello. <laughs> He did an update to um, Once More Into the Breach, a pretty decently sized one with some new NPCs and stuff, uh, as well as a few new uh, yeah. weapons and items, but mainly some NPCs. We're hopefully going to be seeing some of those today, and yeah, we're just going to be playing a run as the Hunter here, and uh, chit-chatting as we do, and making our way through a little old Gungeon run. So yeah. yeah your, new, your new audience from the clickbait thumbnails is not going to know yes. who I am or why I'm I here. I know, I know. It's wild. They're going to be scared and confused, and it, it's, it's like, uh, it's like when... Hello when i don't know what it's like actually <laughs> <laughs> it's like something I, I i i guarantee it's like something but yeah um no, it, it's it's like when uh when uh the divorced parent like starts like brings someone new home and the kid's like <laughs> i don't i don't trust this do person. i have to call this person dad yeah <laughs> <laughs> hey turtle melon viewers i'm your new dad don't don't call me that you can if you want. I, I, I'll allow it. No, no. I uh, actually, I, actually, scrap that. Call him Daddy. No, <laughs> no, we don't do that. No, don't. But yeah, it, it, it's, don't, it's been some don't, time. Don't do that because I might like it. <laughs> he will. He knows he will. No, fuck off. <laughs> oh no, I'm ruining your monetization. I'm sorry. Oh no! How dare you swear at the start of my video? How dare you? Uh but yeah, it's, YouTube, it's, it's been... The poor, it's, the poor underpaid YouTube manual reviewer in Calcutta is going to be <laughs> traumatized. He is, but it, it's, been, it's been nice having changed my uh, my thumbnail and all that sort of stuff because it's helped the channel quite a bit. Like, normally my average, um, my average like, subs per month was sitting at around 40 or 50. It wasn't very high, and this month it's at like 160, which is like way more than normal, so it's good to see. Yeah, it's good I to mean, see. I'm glad you're doing well, my dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, it's been some time. Why don't you why don't you tell the fine folk about some of the stuff we'll be running into today potentially? Um So you know Bowler? Yeah, the little rainbow boy. What if what if him? We got funky bullets. Lower it's spread, a, higher uh, fire rate, lower damage, um, better reload. Children of caliber item? Yeah. Yeah, so we, we, we get some strange bullet stats. Overall, it's good. Overall, it's good. It does lower our damage a bit, but increase our fire rate and reload time. Uh, I say increase. Right. Increase our reload time. It's good stuff. Just, but yeah, just Bowler. Weird, the, good, weird. the good old Bowler boy. Bowler or Bowler? Because I've always called him Bowler. I've always called him Bowler. I don't know what Okay, maybe right. this Ooh, is I've just got bouncy, me being... I've got bouncy bullets now. Oh, yeah, that's what... That's, that's the funk. That's the funk. The, Nothing but the funk. Uh, with the rhythm of the boogity beat, yeah. Exactly. Um, <laughs> so in Exit the Gungeon, uh, Hattori, one of the uh, the new uh, NPCs in that game. Is that the one that gives comments? you the hats? I'm going to guess it is. <laughs> yeah, he, uh, it's, he runs a hat shop where you buy cosmetic hats. He's funny. Um, <laughs> uh, he says he likes Bola because his name sounds like a hat. Which is why ah. I pronounce it like the like a bowler hat. Ah, you might you might be right then. You might be right. I'm not. I didn't know. But that. also, wasn't wasn't I mean, there a plan for that hat NPC to be in this game? Didn't didn't modders start making that? Yeah. Um. I mean, uh, do you have Gungeon Craft installed? Yes, I do. I think Gungeon Craft adds a hat room to the breach. Although I could be misremembering. I've not seen that thus far. But then again, I haven't explored the breach properly in a little while, so. I might have just maybe it's it. a different maybe it's a different mod and I'm misremembering, but their well, hats are fully functional thanks to the uh, work of the incredibly talented Gungeon Craft creator Captain Pretzel. Hello, uh, Captain Pretzel, Pretzel is is the fucking goat. To uh, be fair, I've, I, he like is I, so talented. I I actually didn't know what Gungeon Craft was for a long time. I didn't take like the time to really look into it. I thought it was like just a custom character and that was it, based on the thumbnail. So I never really t gave it the time of day. And then when I started using it, I'm like, damn, this mod's really good. And I've, I've been missing oh, out no, for yeah. a while. Pretzel is so talented, but the I mean, I think he'd admit this too. The Gungeon Craft thumbnail is terrible. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, it, it doesn't really give a good idea of what. To be fair, I, I'm also not a massive fan of the name because it just I, I, all it made me think of was some sort of Minecraft character or something. 
Yeah, no, Gungeon Craft. You, uh, to be honest, a Steve custom character would be sick. Uh, well, that's what—that's like, genuinely actually, what I thought it was. I thought it was gonna be something like that because obviously there is Minecraft items in the game. So I was like, oh, it's just gonna be like a Minecraft Steve character that ha that starts with um, some Minecraft themed items. God, if only destroying the tile map wasn't so buggy. Um, because you can you can update the tile map of the game uh, at will. Basically, you can carve out chunks of it, but it's really yeah. visually buggy and glitchy, and it breaks shit. Well, I wish it wasn't so buggy. Is, is that what um is that what Apache did with his um bootleg dungeon rooms? No, no, he he does something different. He overlays a sprite on top of the room. Ooh, a synergy. Oh, already so uh, the table salt synergy, I believe. What does that do? I don't fucking know. I just coded the mod. <laughs> you expect me to remember? Um, um okay. hold on. I have I have my solution open, so I can just search salt gun. Ah, I've already buggered this room. Oh wait, have I? No, have I? I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Right, okay. How do you, how, how, do you yeah, do so the, how do you do the thing with these? With the the fires? You have. Um, you have to make sure. So you're trying to. Do you just have the oil barrel? Yeah. Yeah, roll the oil barrel up in front of the tree so that the oil's touching it. Then make sure the oil is in front of one of the torches and then just shoot the torch. There you go, baby. I've actually been down here on YouTube since I started um, with the new thumbnails and all that sort of stuff. So this will be slightly oh, damn. new for people. Yeah, so you've got plenty of new content. I don't know why you're freaking out. He was freaking out at me earlier like, we've got we've to have new content for the thumbnail. Oh, just, it's hard to know what to put in the thumbnail. It really is. You don't understand. You, you don't understand. The grind. <laughs> um, yeah, so the table salt synergy means the uh, the salt gun gets a damage boost for seven seconds after you flip a table. Ooh, so kind of like table tech rage, but like just for this gun. Just for this gun, yeah. Nice, okay. The table salt gun is actually really good. Yeah, I, I was just disappointed that, uh, like, I don't know, it's probably illegal to fucking sell, like, one of these guns over here. Like, I want I want to shoot bugs. What? Why would it be illegal to buy a salt gun? Are you, are you actually joking? I don't know. I just you, this, sort this, of assumed. This, I haven't checked. No, no. The, the assault guns will not be illegal. You cannot do any sort of actual damage to a human being with a salt gun unless you fired it at point blank range into that eye. Well, maybe I would do that. Listen, I was... Man, I remember when I was... I, I, I must have been like... Seven years old. You know party poppers? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh god, what'd you do? <laughs> I... <laughs> now, hold on, hold on. I guarantee party it's popper just directly into someone's town. eye. <laughs> so, you know how they come with a label? That says in no uncertain terms, in in Do language that a kid asshole. can understand. <laughs> <laughs> no, they only did that, they only added that label after the incident. No, um, so they say in no uncertain terms. Do not point this at someone's eyes. They will get fucked up and, and blinded and like live the rest of their life as like a, a monster. <laughs> um, He's saying all blind people are monsters. <laughs> bold statements only on this channel. <laughs> No, um, uh, so I being a, a very, like, a very sensible, very, uh, sensible seven-year-old read that label, no uncertain terms, do not, uh, aim into eyes or face. Why? Why? Why does it say that? <laughs> what, what happens? What happens if you do that? <laughs> so, so I, I walk away and I find one of the older kids and I'm like, hey, could you just look at this for a second? <laughs> so I didn't do it to myself. I was sensible enough at least to not fucking maim myself. But you did blind so kid, an older like, child. This kid, I, he's, he wasn't blinded. He was fine, but he had to get his eyes rinsed. <laughs> Lovely. Um, How close was it to his eye? <laughs> he leans over. To, I'm like, could you, could you take a look at this, please? And I fucking exploded it right into his eyes, and he runs off screaming, and I sound like such a fucking psycho. <laughs> um, as far as I know, the kid was fine, it did not permanently damage his eyesight, it just hurt, and he had to, like, get his eyes rinsed. 
so I think it's okay you, to you giggle. Know, turns out this guy is actually blind now. Well, you lodged, you lodged some I mean, party popper in his eye. It's been there for, for years. At the, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, he did look. I asked. I mean, yeah, like he he should not have said yes to that request. That that was that was on him. Yeah, he should not have said yes to the kid who was like, "Hey, can you look at this while hiding a party popper in his palm?" That was his mistake. See, I, I think I think as well, like it's likely that you were a little shit and people knew about that, so it should have been. Expected. I got no, I got in no trouble for that. I got in no trouble for that. People were like, "I, I don't even think like he told anyone. He, he he wasn't no snitch, you know." In 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 school, I got in like like the only sort of detention I ever got was because I. Uh, we were out, I, I, for some reason we were doing science class, but outside, I don't exactly remember why. Um, but, uh, this, this, this girl that, to be, I'll be honest, I just didn't like her it's all. because the horrible. school was underfunded. Um, well, yeah. The reason you were <laughs> doing science no class room. outside is because there was a fucking gas leak in the science room or something. But, but anyways, there was like a, there was like a two litre bottle of something on the floor that was like half full. And I like hooked it onto my foot and like kicked it in the direction of this girl not really aiming at her but it, it, it was in the direction and it it very narrowly missed her head and i got in trouble for it it's like it didn't even actually hit her and i got in trouble for officer, it. I wasn't aiming officer, at her. the shot missed <laughs> exactly. exactly little did we know that that luke would grow up to be the man taking pot shots at donald trump <laughs> oh god no <laughs> do not do not get me investigated <laughs> <laughs> it's oh god so the moment that like that that was going down and people were like talking about it one of the first things without fail you see is the the shooter has been identified with a picture of sam hyde oh, god. <laughs> <laughs> he can't Fucking keep getting hell. away with this um no that's just <laughs> we live in interesting times i mean i'm probably dating this video horribly the spicy what, what pepper this? box I'm gonna, I'm gonna steal it. Do I have to go out before I use um, use my smoke? Uh, or do I use it on him? I can't remember how the, how this works. Uh, I think you're fine if you just use it. The spicy pepper box firestorm. Reload uh, while doing a burst fire to fire wildly. What does that mean? Chance to ignite uh, enemies I... shoots in bursts. Reload during a burst. Okay, I see. Yeah, that's what I was speculating. Right, so if you reload during the burst, it just shoots in all directions. Ah, and with bouncy bullets, that's pretty good. Yeah. Um, speaking of interesting times and uh, and uh, missing the shot, uh, you hear about what's happening with Boogie. Oh my god! I told you about what's happening. I'm gonna with say Boogie. you briefly mentioned it. I I knew about the, the faking cancer thing. I'd heard that, but I swear, didn't he already do that once before? Didn't he already get caught for faking cancer like a couple of years back? It was called for faking a swatting. God damn. Pretty sure man, it wasn't cancer like the at that time. I mean, people have been accusing him of faking cancer for a while. And unless, listen, unless you are deep in the weeds on a lot of this shit, this will make no sense. Um, uh, I, I'm a little goblin. I love, I love internet <laughs> drama. I love, I love, yeah. uh... I love watching uh, Boogie train wreck his life into the ground. It's very I, I learn, I learn about most of the internet drama because Never Named messages me out of the blue. Like, have you heard yes, about I'm, this? I'm like a gossiping little housewife. Yeah. By the way, uh, for um, those of you that haven't seen this floor before, if you're wondering why I'm shooting these random trees, they can drop money and health. So, even though they cost ammo to uh, destroy and they've, they've, they've got quite a bit of health. It's worth destroying them for the chance that uh, a bit of extra money. It, it, it's sort of built as a reason to come to this floor other than the oubliette. There's two reasons to come to this floor. One of them is there's an extra chest room, and the other one is there's a chance of extra money. Anyways, ba back to yeah. back to your gossiping little housewife tales. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Um, so, uh, Boogie was called out because a lot of the statements he's... Because Boogie has been saying for years that he has a rare blood cancer, basically. Or, or a cancer that affects his blood, or I, I don't know. He, he can't seem to quite make up the details, or maybe it's <laughs> yeah. uh, a different cancer, and he, he just happens to have blood pooling in his veins. Uh, he doesn't seem to know what cancer he has, so uh, I don't have to either. Um, <laughs> Fair. Uh, but yeah, people recently confronted him on a live stream about a bunch of the things he's saying just not adding up, and yeah, yeah. I'm saying they think he's faking it. 
and it's so funny that whole live stream is just watching watching a man torpedo the the minuscule shreds of his reputation <laughs> into yeah, dust. It, I gotta say, wasn't it like last week that he was like scamming his fans? Yeah, literally last week. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was scam. He scammed 10k out of his fans uh, in a in a crypto thing where he's like, "You're gonna buy my cryptocurrency if you wanna go broke." While he's sitting there fucking shirtless with his, like, with his childish girl, literally childish girlfriend. She's like, Ooh. she's an adult, but she's like, is, is she uh, one of the it's... one of the girls that's like, oh hello, uh, one of the girls that's kind of like, um, ooh, I'm so little and small, and it's as uh, cringy as fuck. No, no, because at least then she'd like have some wherewithal. It's more that she's, uh, oh hello. Uh, it's more that she's um, like a like a victim of trauma, and she, she's she's an adult, but she's pretty clearly not uh, all there. Not well uh, equipped for adulthood. Of... No, yeah. So so Boogie's basically raising his girlfriend, which is very uh, uh, unsettling. Yeah. And people people have like made fun of him for that for a while, but he's not like committing a crime because she is an adult. It's just that she's a clearly a very vulnerable adult, and he's it, taking it, advantage yeah. of that. It, it, it's just a little little seedy, little. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, seedy is is a very charitable way of describing Boogie <laughs> to nine eight eight. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> the Mister Rogers of the internet. Remember when he was funny fat man that flips table. God, funny fat man that flips table, man. If only we could go back to those times. It's like one of those, what if it was all a dream edits where uh, Boogie is just still flipping tables and pretending <laughs> yeah. to be Francis. And like, it, and he, people still fucking love him for it. Like, say the line, Boogie. Um, By the way, can we fucking he, get some ammo? <laughs> shop, maybe? Nope. What was this, though? Charm prize ball. Piggy bank, bank charm. charm. So, uh, do you do you know what these are based off? Not really. They're they're basically one to one inspired by the charm system in the game Wild Frost. Ah, increases money drops on kill. Okay, uh, I'm not going to use that yet because I just don't have any need to use it yet. But I really like them. I think they're an amazing idea. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, I almost called Ski Boogie. Fuck, my brain's fried. My brain's scrambled. Don't do I've got that. Boogie on the brain. I've got Boogie brain. <laughs> You skipped the boss intro. Have you shown these guys on YouTube yet? I I, I have, but I didn't mean to skip the boss intro. It's just it's just habit. Yeah. This um, is a really cool custom boss, by the way, for this floor. Only got added like a couple of months ago. I have I've only shown it on YouTube like once, I think. Yeah. It's like French people uh, in the jungle. It's like French people. Well, they called some something French, I think. Yeah, Les Voltigoneros. I'm French. using a gun at the minute that is uh, very strong, but has a quite a bit of knockback, so sitting near a wall is preferable. Ah, oh, he healed. healed. Um, yeah, so it's just it's just French people in the woods. It's really cool. Um, I really like it. It's weird, it's like the smallest boss in the game. Like, visually, as in, like, the actual... <laughs> The boss is tiny. Oh god! I think oh god! Blockner's. Yeah, but Blockner's a mini I think boss. Blockner's small. Uh, not the not the uh, living Blockner. He's considered an actual boss. Ah, okay. Like he he will drop a master round if you beat him no hit. I did not know that. Checkmate! I know more useless trivia than you. Get Hell fucked. <laughs> Get fucked. Right, I'm gonna. Grab this, and then uh, I'm gonna put the thingy on this piggy bank charm. There you go. Cool. Um, what's this we got here? So yeah, warp. yeah, that, that's a, a weird one. Uh, I made it, but I don't fully know how to describe what it does. Just shoot it. Oh, I like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to describe that effect. Just like, <laughs> um, I like it. <laughs> So yeah, that that whole that whole thing was a, a fucking disaster, and so many uh, faces from like the dark side of the commentary community, online commentary, <laughs> yeah. just fucking arose. It's it's like it's seeing a bunch of these people who would normally be like 
at the very least uneasy in each other's presence like fucking uh fucking keemstar that that yeah, yeah. creature creature from the abyss um all these different faces it, it's like every facet of hell opened to swallow <laughs> boogie hole which is very impressive considering his size my god indeed it is and that's, for the that's record, why they had, to, I, they had to join forces to do it otherwise they couldn't quite true swallow for the record i don't care if someone's fat i'm just calling boogie fat because i know it annoys him um <laughs> Well, it's, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's like, you wouldn't take the mick out of someone for being fat, but when they're like Boogie and they're just a terrible person, then it's fine. Yeah, I don't care. Fucking, he can catch as many strays as, I, as he cares. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so it was confronted and it was pointed out that he could easily show his medical records to avoid, you know, having suspicion. to, yeah, to avoid suspicion. And he was like, I'm not going to show you my medical records. Dignity, I, I have dignity, my last shred yeah, of dignity. Yeah. yeah, I have integrity. Boogie2988 has integrity. Uh, <laughs> someone tell him that. Bitch were. <laughs> um, uh, and then someone said that they'd give him, like, uh, $5,000 to show his medical records. And, of uh, course, and, and still work. not even not even show them publicly. Show them privately to a trusted third party, a neutral third party. And, and oh not God. even, like, full records, just, like, enough to prove that he he has the thing. Like, that's all anyone was asking for, just enough to prove you have the thing privately to a trusted uh, neutral third party. And, and he, he didn't. Yep. He, he said, he said uh, I'll do it for 10k. <laughs> and then someone put up 10k and he's like, well, I have principles. I'm not just going to show any of my medical records. I decided this two <laughs> years ago. I'm going to go to my grave with those because... I have dignity, and no one's gonna, like, take this from me. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Attracts debris in a cone in front of the player and holds it in stasis. While fire is held, upon releasing, launches attracts debris forward, damaging enemies. Corpses deal extra damage when launched, increase cast by one. Nice. Okay, cool. That's a cool effect, I like that. Gungeon cool. craft, absolutely. Gungeon craft does that one thing, though, that I find, like... It's it's definitely not a bad thing, but it's noticeable. It's kind of like with Planet Side, where the sprites are a little too good. <laughs> like the sprite the sprite work is so good, but it's noticeable that it's different. Okay, ow. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm not saying yours are bad. I'm saying yours are a bit more on brand for Gungeon, which is ow. technically better. Damn. Okay. Guess my sprites suck then. Guess I'll kill myself, which is what like... Buddy said. <laughs> No, but like b both Bunny and um, and the uh, Pretzel makes just excellent sprites that are actually a little bit too good for what Gungeon's art style typically looks like. Mm. I like the fact that you can re-pick up the same debris. That's nice. Yeah, I'll stop. I'll stop harping on Boogie. I just it's just been on my <laughs> mind because it's so funny. It is. It's just a disaster. I love. I love watching people to like torpedo. This is gonna sound so mean. I love watching people torpedo their lives and careers. Me too. Me too. Get out of here, you! <laughs> this this weapon is amazing. I love this. The fact yeah, that it's infinite is, ammo really as well cool is kind of crazy. I thought I was hot shit when I programmed the gravity gun those years ago. <laughs> Pretzel's just like. Pretzel is really the fucking the greatest. He's the I, I've said a boy. Pretzel is the goat, and he this this man will insist that he cannot. Uh, he's not like a, a great modder. He'll be like, I just help the other people make good things. Th this man is like Untrue. genuinely an incredible programmer. He solved so many problems, he, uh, even on like the the not front facing end. Pretzel has made so many useful and like genuinely incredibly useful changes to so many systems that we use on like the modding backend yeah, yeah that um he has basically forever changed the face of gungeon modding and he will still insist that he's like ah, no i'm not that good a modder guys i just make tools <laughs> for other people to make cool stuff meanwhile he's making the fucking jigami what's it that like uh like does this it's so good <laughs> i love it ah zombie bullets why do they exist I mean, they're not a bad item. But they kind of are. 
Well, like, you know, I, 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 I never notice them in a run, is my issue. I never, I never, like, they never make a noticeable impact on my run. Well, yeah, that's because they don't have a fucking sound effect but that goes, Bleh! you got a zombie bullet. That is true. That is true. If it did, it would be better. Yeah. If it just did the exact same thing but more obnoxious, you, you'd you probably like the item a lot more because you'd actually notice it doing something. Well, it's, it's, to be fair, it's kind of like, obviously, I've been playing Ultra Mod for Nuclear Throne for a long time now. Um, and one of the things they did recently is uh, Lucky Shot, which is a 20% chance to gain ammo on kill, now actually plays a little effect when you get ammo. And it, it makes the item feel so much more impactful. When you actually Kids know when these it days, ammo. Back in, my, back in my day, we just had to pay attention to our ammo counts. We got the Soul Bound Skull. Killing enemy or damaging enemies can spawn a wisp that harms an enemy. Uh, slightly reduces your active item cooldown on hitting an enemy. Wisp deal double damage to enemies below half health. Sounds cool. We going in the portal? We going in portal, Chief? We can do the portal. I, I honestly, I'm not, I'm not a big uh, fan of portals we? at the moment. You're just asking, are we? Oh, all stats up. That's not a bad one. Yeah. You sound so enthused, you know. <laughs> I'm not. Such a, I just such a ray of joy and sunshine at the moment. You are. I've I've really I've really fallen out of love with the portals. I'll be honest. They're they're a cool concept, but I've seen them too much, and there's not enough variety. Yeah. Also, as well, I think they're really, 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 really strong. Like a bit too strong. The all stats up is kind of nuts. <laughs> like, one heart mm. container basically makes absolute Losing one heart container makes absolutely no difference to my run for the vast majority, but an all stats up makes a pretty markable difference. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. But at the same time, how it depends you? how it depends how good you are at the game, I guess. Like, if, if it's someone that isn't as good as the game, then yeah, you're not going to want to give up that health as much. But at the same time, one thing that I always sort of think has to be somewhat considered is the vast majority of people that are modding a game are people that have probably beaten or at least mastered the base game, so they're, they're gonna be good. Fair, but you will be hearing from my lawyers, which is me, which is Bunny's lawyers. <laughs> Sorry, Bunny. I'm not a lawyer. I didn't mean to slander. I just wish there was more variety. Oh, those are the well. wisps. Those yeah, are the, the wisps. wisps are cool. Okay. We've already seen a number of uh, of custom rooms that are like either new or uh, like new to or like uh, cleaned up. Yeah, yeah. The Cory blade. Hello. The knife charm. Knife charm. Attaches to your current weapon, only one charm can be equipped. Add slashes on bullet hit, one curse. Ooh, can I add it to an infinite ammo weapon? I'm curious. Probably not. Um. Yes, I can. Okay, but I'll, do... I'll, would that even work? That's why I did it. <laughs> I want to find out. Um. Okay. Charge to spawn friends. Nope, it's not friends, it's Ferenz. Oh, Ferenz, of course. My, my mistake. How come you get, how come you caught that one? You're supposed to be the dyslexic one. <laughs> oh man, the other day I was uh, I was at the gym and I was trying to read something on Reddit while running. I just the dyslexia hit me so fucking hard. It just I couldn't make sense of anything I was reading. I kept reading the same line over and over and over again. Hmm. I was just saying earlier that you've seen a number of rooms that I recognize as being from Once More Under the Breach. I recently did a huge cool. pass-through on basically every oh, room I, I I've ever made. I remember you saying about that. I didn't know you actually done that update. Was that in this update? Yes, it, it is. Yes. Okay, nice. That's new to this update as well. Cool. So, fixed a lot of the stuff like a couple of chest rooms I had that didn't have the teleporters, teleporters yep. in them. Because yeah. I forgot. I forgot. Sorgi, I forgot. Yeah, hey, look! That... Low walls! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. So those are a new uh, obstacle. I just put them there so you don't walk into a pit immediately. But they're um, they're a new obstacle. You can shoot over them, but not walk over them. And I just that's think, really I think cool they're an interesting idea, yeah. thing. They're, they're such a small thing. It's such a basic idea that you could easily just fulfill with tables. But I think they're more interesting than, with, than tables because you truly can't pass over them. And yeah, yeah. you can't break them. It's always a little bit disappointing when I find a, a, a black chest and then get a vanilla item. Well, I mean, don't be disappointed. It's I mean, owl. the owl's, the owl's we, we good. We love owl. 
Play Owl's good, we but I always, Owl. I always like... There's so many cool modded S tier items that I still haven't seen. And I'm always like, yay! S tier item, and then it's just like, uh... It's just, it's just the Owl. Oh, I thought we loved the Owl. I think the he's Owl's a good boy. Good, but he's not he's doing his best. You don't know that. You don't know what the Owl's got going on on his insides. <laughs> He's doing his hoot hoots, hooting and hollering. Um, I'm really liking this weapon, by the way. I know I'm not using the reload mechanic that much, but I think just as a weapon, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, so what I was saying is, back in the day, I made a one of the first things I made for Gungeon modding was a room pack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I I've since come a long way. But yeah, that that thing was that rooms. thing was hot garbage to begin with. <laughs> Shut up! I mean, you're right. Not, no, you no. Say it. You, you, you've got to remember that. Hey, here we go. Hey. You, you've, you've got to remember that my my rooms that I made originally were also hot garbage. <laughs> Hello. Ooh, there you go. You shave it. I don't know. I imagine homeless people are all British. <laughs> so you donate. Um, uh, currency to him over multiple runs and you can unlock progressively more items nice i really like this guy and it it, it starts off pretty cheap um it, it is always the same items each time he's guaranteed on the mines until you get all of his unlocks and then he's is he random after that or does he just not appear anymore he's random after that uh, and after you get all of his unlocks, he takes a random amount of coins to give you a random high tier item, kind of like the uh, the gun muncher. Ooh, the spit the spit things changed quite heavily. Yep. Uh, so I intentionally made it so that some of the first couple of items you get from him have a synergy with each other, just yeah. so I think that's fun. Shell necklace. Shell well. necklace. Yeah, you can get quite a few. Um, from him first run if you have a lot of stuff but uh the prices stack up pretty quickly yeah yeah yeah. because it's meant to be more like a long-term any gun uh, into money a shotgun Ooh. oh that's cool i like that okay uh, what's our next goal here me and my pal oh, just okay, so used I, I to can't... be like pair of slingers can't get that but the thing is you can you can donate to contribute to it Yes, and I it can, will I persist can. between runs. So let's donate like three more times then, and I'll leave it at that. Yep. That's really cool. So I now like next that. time you find him, you'll already have 30 casings towards the next goal. This gun seems yeah. so good with the synergy. Yeah, it's it's definitely what like... The, what does the I item do regularly do, by the way, the actual flame item? Uh, it uh, adds a spurt of flames to every gunshot. You can try it with um any other gun. Uh, ah. It is normalized across fire rates, so guns yeah, with lower yeah, yeah, fire yeah. rates. Um, I don't know why it's not doing anything for that gun. Might just be a consequence of the way that gun works. Or is it just because it's infinite ammo? But, no, it should work with infinite ammo guns. I just guess it's not like considering the magnet as being fired for some reason. Or maybe it's like considering it as having like infinite fire rate, which means it would never spawn. Yeah. Which could yeah. also be the case. Um, but yeah, it's just like flaming gunshots. It's a cool weapon. I like it. Ooh, got the revolver as well. Very, very nice. I'm going to try and use the yeah. spit gun for the uh, boss, though. Seems like it'd be pretty strong. Uh yeah, in its base form, the spitball uh, it just fucking sucks. It's it's like a solid F tier weapon. <laughs> is it is it a weapon that's like, oh, what the shit? What? That shouldn't have happened. Hello. That w <laughs> I, it, Hello. Th th this this thing with the shotgun necklace breaks DPS cap. <laughs> Why would it though? That's weird. Books and paper base items are free think? at shops. Ooh, I like that. Nice. What I don't understand is why. That's got to be some weird combination with some of the other items you have. Because it shouldn't do that. Either but I mean, way, I mean, I like it. Uh, you, always, you, you always find a way to do it. Always I do. I literally always find an absolutely absurd synergy or broken item interaction. Remember that, like, episode, like, two or three episodes back where I found, like, the backup gun had, like, infinite fire rate for some weird reason? God, yeah. Don't know why that happened. Fucking <laughs> put me in a casket and roll me down the hill. It's funny. It's funny. I like it.
<laughs> but yeah, this thing, this thing's pretty strong. Seems like. <laughs> yeah. So Spitball is pretty bad normally. So it's it's one of those guns that's pretty bad, but has is, it, is it just? Synergies. I gotta say, is it, is it just that it has this one really good synergy, or is it, is it kind of like a lowercase r sort of situation where it has a, like a good few synergies that are really interesting? It has. I think it has two synergies right now that are both. Do you know one's what? okay I bet and one's I bet pretty good. These, I bet it's these wisp things that did the crazy DPS. These little blue wisps. Maybe, yeah. Um, but yeah, it has a couple synergies right now, uh, and I'm planning on adding more because I do want it to sort of be like a synergy magnet as I love to compensate items, for, its, yeah. for its terrible everything else. Um, <laughs> yeah, I, and I really like those got, weapons. The, uh, the scrap strap? Yeah. It, uh, it's a pretty mediocre, shitty gun, but uh, every time you fire it, it refunds one ammo to another gun in your inventory. That's really cool. Okay, I I, I love that. It's like a D-tier gun that's pretty useful early on if you have the right loadout. Yeah, if you have like that and like just like RPG or RC rocket or something like that, you could really, really do some work. Yeah. And I, like I think that. that's I think that's decent for a ten a ten coin donation. Oh, definitely, yeah, definitely. And now that now that they're unlocked, um, they they're just gonna show up normally and runs, right? Yes. yes and they as will. well, when when I start finding the bigger guy again after I've unlocked all of his stuff, what does he just sell his stuff sort of thing? Uh, if you once you've gotten all unlocks, uh, the beggars, uh, it'll say that you've met all the the predefined donation goals. And it will set a random donation goal, uh, like between like 50 and 200 casings, I think. Yeah. And uh, filling out that random donation goal, which you can still do over the course of multiple runs, will it won't give an unlock, but he will reward you with a random, uh, I think, B, A, or S tier item. Oh, nice. Yeah, someone's going on there. Do you see how I was doing like like hardly any damage? Then all of a sudden he just instantly died. Mm, something sus is happening. Hello, Double Duck. I love Double Duck. I love Double Duck. Uh, also, that was Bullet Bishop. Hi, yes. say hi everyone. Say I, I, I think I saw them in um, the last episode actually. Oh hello. Round uh, Round Queen, the modder behind Bullet Bishop, is currently in the process of like is making them Queen? even better. Oh, by the way, yeah. is it who who makes this? I have no idea. Like because I've heard I, 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 people I've say pretzel or ski. I've mentioned it in a sure. previous episode, but I, I just do not like the concept of this at all. I think this needs to be either removed or the chance for them to appear needs to be significantly, significantly reduced. Because at the minute, they appear every single run. I think it's a fun concept, but it should yeah, not same. be as common as it is. That's exactly it's, what it's I think. Fun, like, it's fun for like every one in ten runs, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Being able to yeah, carry over, being able to carry over one item into another run, every run, is basically just cheating. Yeah. It's oh. Retromation's face. <laughs> yeah, that's another one. Um, this is another uh, secret room that I think was in my room pack, but was... No, no, I, uh, I'm pretty sure I made this, didn't I? I'm pretty sure this is part of expansion. No, this is. No, this is. I'm pretty sure this is part of my room pack. I'm. I'm fairly sure this... I made this room. You may have made it, but okay. um, I'm pretty sure it's part of my room pack. Because I, I, I remember that. going through this when I was sorting stuff out. Um, it, it was. It was one of the ones that was in my original room pack, but was sort of left behind. If that makes sense. Grants three instant reloads on room entry. That's so cool. We got right, so th uh, three times per room, you reload instantly? Yeah. Is that, is that what that means? Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, with um, some guns, that's wild. I mean, yeah. Like, imagine that with an RPG. Yeah. Uh, what? Oh, you, you activated the fucking <laughs> yeah. shell necklace. I was with, like, with, with why, snow? why... With snow bullets as well. <laughs> this is... I like this. I was fucking scared for a second there. I was like, why is it firing so many ducks? <laughs> um, so many ducks. But yeah, that was one that I think was left behind in my original room pack that I recently brought back in this update. See, now, this is this is sort of what I'm saying. This is definitely a planet side or a Gungeon Craft item. Like, I just know that by the sprite. 
I don't know. I think that's... I mean, everyone's a, got their own style. Right. Everyone's got their own style, so it's not a terrible thing. It's, I gotta say, e- either of you that are watching this, don't take it as I don't like your sprites. I actually think your sprites are fucking amazing. It's just... What's the- a ship fetish? <laughs> I don't... What? <laughs> What's a ship fetish? With a ship fetish, oh lord. Okay, turns the user into a spaceship from pilots past until they are damaged. Oh, okay. Interesting. That's Although, interesting. I, I, I feel like I'm probably I stronger be... when I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, I think that would actually weaken you. That's a decent one to get early on, though. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, definitely. I, I, I think that would also don't... be temporary flight, maybe, depending on how it's coded. Yeah, so it is temporary flight. Oh, you do get the rockets and as it, well. Uh, yeah. And now you're trapped like this. Forever. Until I get damaged. Sorry, Chest. I didn't want you anyways. So how's that ship fetish working out for you? Woo! But yeah, definitely um, Pretzel and Bunny. Do not take it as me saying I don't like your sprites. All I'm saying is you di- you have a distinct style that is noticeable. Whereas I feel like Never Named, yours is like... It, it is still distinct, but yours is a lot closer to the original Gungeon style. So it's a bit harder to notice some of yours are modded. Although there is some that are super obvious. Um, but a lot of those sprites you've improved, so... Yeah, I've, I've been working on improving my sprites lately. There's a lot of stuff that's like old that I'm not really super proud of. Oh, and you're out of the ship. Um, Probably for the best. So that didn't that didn't negate damage either. I wonder if there's a synergy that makes it negate the damage you take as the ship. Probably, yeah. That makes sense, right? Um, go, my ducks, go. I love this gun so much. Fucking hell. So, have I told you the story behind the double duck? No. What, is, what is the stuff... What? Did you, did you not see the stuff? What stuff? Oh, uh, the spark. There was the. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. I think it was meant to do with the fire. What did. I'm like, did you not see the stuff? And you're like, what stuff? Oh, you mean the sparklies, of course. How, 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 well, how they've, they've, appe- they've the appeared sparkly. on the past. They've appeared on the past, like, three bosses. <laughs> well, yeah, I haven't noticed them because I'm too busy talking about bullshit. <laughs> That's uh, true. That is very true. Anyhow, what was tell I me the story I'm of the double duck. Completely distracted. Uh, so the double duck is something I found on Wikipedia, <laughs> and it looked to be just made by some guy who had custom modified a special. Uh, like it, there was this, there's this type of almost like a rifle pistol. It's basically a rifle firing mechanism with a pistol grip. Oh, and okay. yeah, you can kind of see that. Yeah. This is a custom room. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> Um, and this guy had modified, he had like a collection of modified versions of these, like rifle pistols, which again, the the rifle pistol was an actual thing as far as I'm aware. Um, but this guy had his own special version, like the fucking Alolan form. And (laughs) he, uh, he had put a, a, an article on Wikipedia for his like custom guns, like detailing their history. (laughs) <laughs> and it's like, this is so strange. And he called them the Double Duck, and I don't know why. That is very but, odd. <laughs> yeah, uh, and I'm like, I don't know what this is about, but that's funny enough that I'm going to put it in my mod. So that this guy is <laughs> blissfully unaware that his in real life weird gun creation is now in Gungeon. <laughs> oh no, yeah, Wikipedia is under Creative Commons, motherfucker. Oh, yeah. uh, get 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 fucking stolen from. <laughs> I wonder if he'd be proud I mean, if he if he found out. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, anyone who's like, uh, what co- some kind of a person do you think makes custom Wikipedia articles for their special gun mods? Yeah, that that feels like slightly narcissistic, right? There's so many weird people on Wikipedia. It's great. <laughs> I mean, also, I guess he's just kind of proud of what he did, but it is still a kind of a bit, I mean, yes, bit of a weird thing. But I'm not making a Wikipedia page for Once More Into the Breach. And I'm not making a <laughs> Wikipedia page for Rocky the Rock out in my garden that I painted when I was six years old. Oh, that egg that you abused on stream. Yeah, no. Which one? 
Do you have any idea how little that narrows it down? How, how, how often do you abuse eggs? <laughs> I've abused- I abused a few eggs in that video. Also, it was a video, not a stream. Get it right, you don't even know the lore. Fucking fake fan. Oh okay. my god. For those of you that don't fake know, for some, for some strange reason, Never Named made a in-real-life video of him just smashing eggs for a while. I did a poll on what people wanted to see, and it won. <laughs> Which, I mean, I kind of expected it to. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, you know, the, peop the people know. What the fuck it voice came out of me there? <laughs> I was trying to do, like, Something the people know what they want. But what came out was, the people know what they want. Turn to Joe Biden for a second. <sighs> I think if I'm ever going to do, like, an IRL video, it'll be some sort of cooking-related video. I did cooking in that video. I put flour in a hot pan and didn't know that it could explode. <laughs> you fool. It didn't, for uh, fortunately, didn't. Um, oh, I flipped that table, you bitch. You have so many table techs this run. I it's do. Kind of ridiculous. Well, I guess the the um the the table merchant shop did kind of I, I, I guess I bought two extra ones toward from being that. the case. Yeah, but still, a lot of table techs. I like it. It's nice. For some reason, also, my active, this shotgun one, is charging while it's in use. I'm not quite sure why. Could be one of the items you picked up. It must be. Maybe that, that... That's like the ice cube effect, right? The skull thing? Maybe that skull Maybe, thing you yeah. picked up? I, yeah, it yeah, had yeah. effects on item charge. It, it did, yeah. You, you might be right. Oh, it said that uh, it, like, charges a little bit whenever you do damage to an enemy. Maybe that's not checking if it's, if it's on cooldown. I think that's the case, yep. I think you are exactly uh, that, right. That's just that's just speculation. You know what feels really good? What's that? I have not seen a glitched dragon in a very long time. <laughs> no, neither have I. Neither have I. God damn. For those of you that don't know, that haven't like been watching Gungeon Modding for a while, there was this weird bug where basically if you applied some sort of status effect to the dragon that wasn't ever meant to be applied to him, it would just completely bug out the fight and the bullets was... would all lag and his sprites would get all messed up. It was weird. It was more specific than that. It, it was if you tried to, like, access information about the dragon's, like, health haver or AI actor in code without checking if they existed, it would cause a weird, like, null error because his health is stored weirdly or his brain is stored weirdly or I don't know. I don't think... I don't know if anyone ever figured out exactly what it was that was missing. Uh... But yeah, it was so, such a broad thing that could cause it to break, which is like, um, uh, basically it means that people have uh, gotten a lot better at coding and we're lucky. <laughs> yeah. I say, I'm sure there's probably but, still a few breaks in here that we haven't come across yet from old guns that haven't been looked at in a while, but for the most part, everything's going well. Oh, why is my, why is my owl now uh, skeletal? It's a synergy this... with the... Yeah, it's a synergy with the, uh, the, bun uh, the, 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 the staff of firepower. That's yeah. what it's called. Three phases, you cock. How dare you? Yeah, to be fair, you did switch to a pretty low DPS gun. Yeah. That's kind of your own fault. You, you did this to yourself. Yeah. I hope you eat worms. I will. Yeah, there good boy. Go. Good, good, good boy. There you go. He's dead. But yeah, I, maybe I should add uh, a fucking secret glitch dragon fight, like the glitch glitch. <laughs> yeah. Um, that like just does that. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. Yeah. Get, uh, if I did that though, I, I'd make it like. It, it would probably mimic the effects of an actual glitch dragon, but not spam nulls to the console. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be glitched, like, but in a way that works. <laughs> yeah, I'd probably, it'd probably be pretty normal dragon attacks, but the bullets would stop and start at random. But I'd make it so they didn't teleport. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, I feel uh, like that'd be enough, honestly, to complicate things. And mess up his sprite so you can't quite see what attack he's about to do. Yeah. Oh, did I ever tell you that I once made the dragon invisible? Ooh, that sounds sketchy. 
Uh, it was an, a vanilla a uh, vanilla game a long time ago. I, I'm still not sure what caused it or why it happened, but I skipped the dragon intro so quickly that it... It didn't load in. <laughs> didn't load in. No, it, and it's still... The, the dragon was still there. It was still doing all its attacks, and I could, I could damage it, and I did win the fight, but it was invisible. I couldn't see what it was doing. Like, its sprites weren't enabled for some reason. Yeah, it yeah. might have been patched, but that was that's still one of the weirdest dragon fights I ever had. That's a very strange book to come across. Very scary. Indeed. I really like this room, by the way. Whoever made this room, where it, like, smacks the thing against the walls, and it creates, like, radial bullets everywhere. I think that's a cool idea. I don't think I made this room, no, so no, this unfortunately was, this was, I can't th this, this room I've seen before, this update that you added, so it's not, it's not you that did that. Mm, unfortunate. I'd love to take credit. I'll take credit for it anyway. You can just lay your praise upon me. <laughs> well done, Nevernam. That was a really good room. Really good design. Thank you. I'll, I will... Your check for three cents is in the mail, my good sir. <laughs> um... <laughs> Titan bullets unlocked. Nice. I'm go. unlocking a lot of stuff I used to have unlocked before I got my new PC. Yeah. For people who don't know, uh, Luke fucking sucks at video games and somehow manages to unmake progress pretty regularly. Yep. Yep. It is. You've finally gotten over your obsession with making new save files and Isaac. Yes, I, I I don't I don't touch my save files anymore. I just stick with a a dead god one so that I can make interesting videos with all the items unlocked. See? See, that's the meta. You don't... People people don't want to want to see, like... Want to watch me unlock um, Montezuma's Revenge for the fourth time? <laughs> I only did it twice. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I will still bully you for it, though. I've never understood the appeal of, like, why don't I torture myself by doing everything again? <laughs> it just... I think, I think at the time it was just kind of like... I was getting a little, like, personally, not just not just for my YouTube channel, but personally, I'd been just, like, getting into a bit bit too much of a rhythm with Isaac. Like, I was sort of getting, I wouldn't say bored of it, but, like, everything was a bit too humdrum and the same. So giving myself an actual objective every run gave me a bit more reason to want to play it. But now I have more of a reason to want to play it, because my views are high. <laughs> I'm enjoying it more, because people are watching. Nice. Yeah, that makes sense. I did a video the other day that got like three and a half K views, which is like more than I've had in a really long time. <laughs> Fucking in gay baby jail over here. Yep. Um. <laughs> but yeah, I, I mean, I I bully, but I'm glad things are working out for you. It's very nice. I went through a a pretty a pretty rough time like a couple of months ago. Uh, just 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 before I did all these changes to my channel. I was getting real, real, real down about YouTube for a little while there. Mm. I like I was yeah, mention. I was genuinely considering stopping it because it was really getting me down. Um, but then I, I changed things as I needed to do, and it helped a hell of a lot. Now I'm enjoying it more, and my channel's doing better. And also, yeah. well, <laughs> stopping like making Isaac at once every other day has just drastically improved my mood. <laughs> yeah, you're you're doing. Like, half as much work for, like, twice as much payoff. Exactly, yeah. And th one of the good things as well is I, I stopped doing Isaac once a day at the exact right time because if I'd have gotten these new viewers from the changed thumbnail style stuff and then gone down to one every other day, that would have been bad. But now, all the yeah. new people expect it once every other day. Yeah, and Isaac viewers aren't going to watch this, so they won't know that they're they're actually, like, being stiff. <laughs> the, the vast majority of them weren't, you're right. <laughs> yeah. You should you should pretend one of these days that one of these is an Isaac video. Just fucking like, I got dead god as... Well, that that's actually fucking... what I did. When, when I first tried, like, these clickbaity style thumbnails with Gungeon, I made sure to put Isaac in the thumbnails. You know when I did the soy milk item that you made? The, um, what's it called? Oh. Yeah. So uh, I was like, I, 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 I tried my best to make it look like an Isaac thumbnail. I did notice that. Yeah, that was very funny. Um, it, it worked. I got like an extra like two or three hundred views on that video because of that. Because I, I think I think one thing is like a lot of Isaac viewers obviously are only ever going to watch Isaac. That's the game they like. But I think also a lot of Isaac viewers just don't really know 
the seam in Gungeon. They've not watched Gungeon much, and they've especially not watched modded Gungeon much, because there's very few people out there that do videos on it. And people just don't realize how amazing the fucking Gungeon modding scene is. It's it's obviously not quite Isaac levels, but it's close. It's getting there. I re respect the respect this game, baby. Respect this game. Respect it. Like yeah, the fact, my, my the main fact thing. Now we've got like we've got like double the items that were in the base game now, haven't we? Yeah, yeah. Pr probably more than double, honestly. Yeah. Okay, I'm really scared that the lich is gonna immediately fucking explode. <laughs> Not sure why those other ones insta died, but the lich is like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I don't know what happened Dude, there. The Lich took his multivitamins, he's fine. Yeah. Uh, God, you know that, that, uh, that... You probably don't know this, actually. Now, I don't know why I start sentences like, You know that thing that's, like, really niche? Super specific. And you, like, and niche, yeah. you, like, you, like, have an actual life, and you, like, uh, you, like, engaged, and you have a real job, and you go outside, and you look up at the grey English sky, and down at the brown English water, and you, like, breathe in <laughs> deeply and, and enjoy the world around you? Yeah. You're like a grounded human being. So, you know that Five Nights at Freddy's meme? Where, where it's, <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> where, it's, where it's William Afton in the wheelchair. I don't even know who William is. Uh, he's... Don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it, don't say it, don't think it. He's, um... He's... The bad guy. <laughs> Wait, in the, in, the, in the game or in the film? <laughs> Uh, both. Who is surprisingly he enough? The they follow. Um, I don't know. He just some guy who looks like a pedophile, which is perfect. Fair. <laughs> uh, uh now nah, there's this just this meme because uh, people in the community are sick of them bringing back the same villain after years and years of yeah, the series. Yeah. Uh, so they've started like drawing him as an old, like a crotchety old man with dementia in a wheelchair being like, I always come back! It's like, yeah, let's get you to bed, Grandpa. I, they, I, they, they did now a, I kind of want to do that with the Lich. They did, the a, they did an, uh, the Emperor from Star Wars. Yes. Somehow <laughs> William Afton has returned. Yeah. Oh man, I really should draw. I should make an item called Lich's Legs. <laughs> Because he doesn't have legs. Give him some heckin' legs. I like the owls yeah. still hooting in the background there. Yeah, he's excited for you. Well, oh, he can't be happy for you? You're a real terrible friend, you know that? Let the, let the man be happy for you. Huzzah! We did a run! I hope you guys enjoyed this lovely bit of Gungeon with Nevernim yeah. back once again. Hopefully he can join more often from now on. Because I've, I've got Turtles. into a I've got to a better schedule with how I record Gungeon now, so I should have more time to, for you to join. Yeah. Turtle Smellin finally donates to the homeless uh, and, and into the Gungeon. <laughs> There's your title right there. Huzzah. Huzzah. <laughs> I, 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 think, I think what I'm going to do for the, for the thumbnail is I'm going to do it sliced up into three sections. I'm going to do the first section, which is like the jungle boss, because that'd be cool. The second section is going to be donating to the paw. The third section is going to be just like shitting on the lich with ducks. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, the three core tenets <laughs> yeah. are just abusing <laughs> the French, basically abusing the just French, want... supporting the homeless, and, and shitting with ducks. I just want the, the, the thumbnail oh, to be Oh, so God, confusing. is that what the blind looks like? Apparently so. Oh god, he's fucking hideous. I love it. <laughs> um, I never, I never knew that's what he looked like up close. Oh, it's like, it's like a pug. Oh lord. But yeah, I just want it to be a thumbnail that's like sort of a bit overwhelming and confusing. Also, don't we love the Windler? What? And he pursued. <laughs> he <Okay>, blind. The... <laughs> <laughs> Are you still recording this? Yeah. Okay, so I guess the UI scale is kind of <laughs> fucked up. That one's fine. But yeah, because they're <laughs> vanilla. Uh, it's it's way easier to not fuck up something when it's vanilla. You just don't touch it. He shit. I I I, I love he blind. <laughs> <laughs> he blind. <laughs> what do you say about this character? He blind. <laughs> Past oh, kill. Anyways.
I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. And yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.